Oh, weird. We just got an email from Richard saying that he's waiting on us. How, how is he waiting on us? <laughs> Maria, are you still there? She's still here. I'm going to write him back. Well, should we just click on that link then? I have no idea. We clicked on... Hold on, let me just... Hold on. Um. I don't know. I'm just telling him we're there. <clears throat> Maria, <laughs> are you still listening? She's she stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here. So Richard seems to think that we're not. He says we're that they're waiting for us. He seems to think we're not in the session. Okay, but I see attendee uh, one attendee here. Uh, oh, Richard okay. is. Richard is in the attendees. Let me promote him to a panelist. Okay. We have a question. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, he got okay, in so uh, I guess we're, the attendee link. We're, fine. we're in the right... Well, we can start. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Good evening. Oh, am I... Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our presentation. And it is uh, looking at the secondary ESL and ELD courses and program information. So you have two presenters this evening. My name is Ruth Anderson, and I am one of the multilingual learning coaches. And Andrew Bernay is with me. And we will take your questions at the end. So please type them in um, at any point in time, and we'll, we'll leave time for questions. So the three, the schools that have uh, ESL uh, programming are Gloucester High School, Ridgemont High School, Woodruff High School. Um, they have both ESL and ELD programming. We'll explain those. And Bell High School, Brookfield High School, and Glebe Collegiate have ESL programs. And, and many grade nine and grade 10 uh, offer sheltered courses. This is these are um, content courses, so math, science, geography, integrated arts, technology, designing your future, co-op, history, careers, and civics. And these courses are offered with also support for um, language acquisition. And those courses, course offerings are varied by school. So um, you should seek um, an assessment at the Family Ref reception center if your child speaks a primary language that is not English uh, or if the language of instruction at their previous school was not English or if they did not attend school regularly before coming to Canada. So in order to get an assessment scheduled at the family reception center you can call the number listed 613-239-2416 or send an email to family reception center at ocdsb.ca. And so we're going to go through a little bit of the course uh, curriculum expectations. So all the ESL and ELD courses, they build on skills and knowledge that students bring with them from elementary school for success in high school and beyond. And they help develop the reading, writing, oral communication skills, and specifically strengthen academic English to successfully complete university and college level high school credits. So there's different pathways and program options. All ESL and ELD English credits are open level credit or courses, which means upon completion, students may choose English courses in either the university, college or workplace pathway. Um, 
it may take a little bit longer for a student to transition from an ESL or an ELD class. However, it is important to acquire the necessary language skills to be successful in any university, college, or DSTREAM class. So um, the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, there will be other workshops tonight that will go into this into more detail, but all the ESL and ELD credits count towards the 30 credits needed for graduation. So three ESL or ELD courses count as compulsory courses and any additional uh, courses count as elective courses. So to complete your high school diploma, 18 courses are compulsory, so they're required by grade, and 12 courses are electives, so students can choose what those options are going to be. Uh, in all of our schools, uh, students can be supported by MLOs or Multicultural Liaison Officers, um, and they will be able to support for a variety of language needs. So all students and families will have access to MLOs who can support with the following. Uh, translation for family and school meetings, settlement questions or community supports, and advocacy and support with navigating the school system. So we have a quite a short presentation, but we are happy to take questions. So please um, type any questions that you have into the um, Q&A box and we will be able to answer those for you. Since we have a bit more time and we don't have any questions at the moment, um, what I thought we could do is we'll go back to one of the previous slides and I'll just go back to the... So this is the slide that has the schools that offer the ESL programs and um, the ESL program includes language courses, but um, the content subject area courses such as math, science, geography, integrated arts, technology, design, your future, co-op, history, civics, and careers, all are um, regular courses. Um, but when, when we say that they're sheltered courses, it means that there's also support uh, for the uh, language acquisition uh, for students who are building their English skills. So those are all um, de-streamed uh, courses or courses that can lead to any pathway um, that have the support for um, language acquisition.
Kendra, is there any other pieces that you think we should add while we're waiting to see if anybody has any questions? Um, I guess we could maybe talk about the difference between ELD and ESL. Sure. Do you want to do that? Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so if when you arrive at the Family Reception Center, um, your student has had a gap in their education, maybe they missed a couple of years of education, or this is going to be their first time going to school, uh, your child may be recommended for English literacy development. And that means that they're trying to learn foundational English skills, as well as some foundational math skills and maybe some science skills. Um, and then ESL is really just focused on the language development. And then they can be in those sheltered classes um, alongside other language learners. Um, but they're really, um, the ELD is getting more foundational skills. Great. Good description. <laughs> I don't think we have the last slide that says, well, maybe we do. Yes, we do. Okay, not yet. <laughs> okay. Um, So we have about five minutes left before you will have five minute travel time to your next uh, workshop. So if there are any uh, last questions, um, we're happy to take them for the next few minutes. Just type them in and we'll be able to answer them.
So Ruth, I just double checked and it actually was only a 15 minute presentation. So the, the five minute travel time has started now. The okay, next great. We'll start at 740. Okay, thank you. So enjoy your next sessions. So we start the next one in three minutes. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm going to share my screen again. Do you want to do it the same as last time, Andrea? Yeah, but I guess we should uh, expand a little yeah. more. <laughs> I guess so. I didn't realize it would go so fast. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll expand a little more. So 15 minutes? So we start yeah. at 740 to what? 755. Okay, perfect. All right. Good evening, everybody. Our presentation for the second one, we are um, talking about secondary ESL and ELD courses. ESL stands for English as a Second Language. ELD stands for English Literacy Development. And so we're going to talk about the courses and the program information. So uh, I'm Ruth Anderson. I'm one of the multilingual learning coaches, part of Program and Learning and Innovation, and Andrea Renee is with me as well, and we will talk you through um, the different courses, options, and program options, and we will have time for questions at the end. And so please feel free to type your questions at any point uh, in the chat, and we will make sure to have time at the end to address them. So we have uh, six schools in our school board that offer ESL and ELD programs. So Gloucester High School, Ridgemont High School, and Woodruff High School offer both ESL and ELD programs. Bell High School, Brookfield High School, and Glebe Collegiate Institute offer um, solely the English as a Second Language program. So Andrew will talk about this a bit more, but English 
ESL program is specifically for um, if you've had schooling in a different language in a different country and you are learning English, you will have language courses. And then we also offer sheltered courses. And a sheltered course means it's a regular content course in grade nine or grade 10 that has uh, support for language. So each school uh, course offerings vary by what by the school, but options for those courses are math, science, geography, integrated arts, technology, designing your future, co-op, history, civics, careers. Also is not listed here. We sometimes have phys ed, uh, drama. So many, many course options are open uh, to you um, for the content and for building the language, your English language skills. So um, if your student or your child um, is coming to Canada, starting their English or their learning in Ottawa, they're going to be going to the Family Reception Centre for an assessment. Uh, and you'll need to do this if your child speaks primarily a different language that is not English um, and or the language of instruction at their previous school was not English or they did not get a chance to attend school regularly before coming to Canada. So if any of those apply to your student, then you're going to want to make an appointment at the Family Reception Centre. You can email Family Reception Centre at ocdsb.ca or call the phone number that is listed there. And so uh, the ESL and ELD curriculum expectations. So each course, so these courses are part of the uh, high school courses offered by um, every school board and uh, they are from the Ministry of Education. So we have ESL and ELD courses. So the idea is that they build on the skills and knowledge students bring with them from elementary school for success in high school and beyond. And it is to develop reading and writing, oral communication skills, and specifically strengthen academic English to successfully complete college and university high school credits. So any course taken in ESL um, or the ELD program can lead to um, college or university courses. Um, so there's different pathways and program options. So as Ruth just mentioned, um, because the ESL and ELD English credits are open level courses, that means as soon as the student finishes them or complete or passes them, they will be able to choose English courses for university pathway, college pathway or workplace pathway. Uh, it may take a bit longer for a student to transition from an ESL or ELD class to graduation. However, it is important to acquire the necessary language skills in order to be successful in any university, college, or DStream class. So some of the other workshops tonight will have more specific details about the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. But to graduate from high school in Ontario, all students need 30 credits in total to graduate. So all ESL or ELD credits count towards that 30 total uh, needed for graduation. So three ESL or ELD courses count as compulsory courses and any additional courses count as elective courses. So in your total um, number of courses that you will take through your high school career, 18 courses are compulsory. So each grade um, has required courses in that grade. And there are 12 elective courses so that students may choose out of a number of options which courses they would like to take. So in each of our schools, there is um, an opportunity to have the support of multicultural liaison officers. Some are working within the schools um, on a permanent kind of year long basis and some can be contacted if your family needs support. Um, so all students and families will have access to an MLO uh, and they can help you with translation for family or school meetings. They can help you with settlement questions or other community supports outside of the school community. And they can also help advocate for your student and your family and support you with navigating the school system and learning how the Ontario school system works. 
So we have um, left a lot of time for questions. Um, we are happy to take any questions about uh, the Family Reception Center and the process of assessment uh, about courses or um, pathways or about how the Multicultural Liaison Officer Program works. Each school has a Multicultural Liaison Officer attached to that school. Um, and if they don't speak a language uh, that is needed, they have access to um, reaching out to a MLO who does speak that language. So if you have any questions, please feel free to type them in the Q&A chat box and we will take questions for a few minutes before you head to your next session. So we have one last minute for any final questions. Otherwise, you are going to travel to I your... I think there's six minutes left, Ruth. Well, really? Not till 7.55? <laughs> oh, I thought it was 7.50. I've got to write those times down. All right. Well, we have five minutes. Should anyone have questions? We have five more minutes to take questions, and we are happy to answer any questions.
Thank you for participating in our session and you have five minutes uh, break and travel time to your next uh, session. All right, Andrea, any changes for the next one? I'm not used to this because last time we had MLO, so you had to have everything translated. So that's why I think we're going through this so fast this time. Yeah, I think, um, I, yeah. <laughs> we'll just I mean, try we'll just, talk slower. <laughs> talk slower and hopefully someone will have some questions. But yeah, we'll yeah. just, yeah, well, good. All right. So we started in one minute? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Hello, everyone. 
Welcome to our presentation. So our presentation, it's the last one of the evening. We are uh, looking more, at Ruth. Sorry? There's one more after this. Oh, sorry. Third presentation. Third presentation. We're happy that you're here. And we are looking at the ESL, ELD, uh, secondary programs and course options. So I'm Ruth Anderson. I am one of the multilingual learning coaches for program learning and innovation. And I have Andrea Brene with me as well. And we are here to, we're both coaches in the Ottawa Carlton District School Board. And we are going to talk about um, the course options and programs and which schools offer those programs in our board. And there is an opportunity to ask questions. So you can type your question in the chat, uh, the question and answer. <laughs> chat box that you'll see and uh, you can type those questions in at any point in time and we will leave time to answer them at the end. So of the high schools that are in the Ottawa Carlton District School Board, we have six that offer um, English as a second language programs. So Gloucester High School, Ridgemont High School and Woodruff High School offer programs that are English as a second language and English literacy development. Andrew will explain a bit more about those programs in a minute. And then we have three schools in our board that who offer ESL programs, and that's Bell High School, Brookfield High School, and Glebe High School. So they're all in different parts of the city. Along with the ESL um, lang and ELD language courses, many of the schools offer uh, grade nine and grade 10 junior courses, sheltered courses. And those sheltered courses means that it's a content subject course. Some of the descriptions, uh, some of the course options are here for you. And along with the content of that subject area, teachers are supporting students with their language acquisition and academic vocabulary and helping them refine their, their reading and writing skills in English. So some of the course offerings are math, science, geography, integrated arts, technology, designing your future, co-op, history, civics, and careers. There are a few more other courses options that aren't listed here, but sometimes some schools offer drama, physical education. And so course offerings vary by school and there's more information when you choose your option sheet, those courses will uh, be on there and they will indicate if it's a sheltered course, it will have an S attached to it. So upon arriving in Ottawa, if your child or student is um, school aged to go to school in Ottawa, um, you'll be going to the Family Reception Center for the OCDSB, the Ottawa Carleton District School Board, and they will do an assessment um, so they'll do some assessments for your child um, in English and math as well at the same time. So you should make an appointment if your child speaks um, a primary language that is not English, or if the language of instruction at their previous school was not English, or they did not attend school regularly before coming to Canada. So perhaps this will be their first time going to school, or perhaps they had a break of a couple of years uh, in their schooling in the past. And these students are the ones that would likely be recommended for the ELD or English Literacy Development Program, uh, because that program is going to try to accelerate their English learning, as well as giving them a strong foundation in mathematics and science to make sure that they are prepared for those de-streamed grade nine classes in English, math, and science. So if you feel that your child or student needs to have an assessment, because their language is not at home, primary language is not English, or their schooling was not English, or they did not attend regularly school before coming to Canada, then you can make an appointment at the Family Reception Centre. This can be done by email, familyreceptioncentre at ocdsb.ca, or by calling the number there on your screen. And just another note for the Family Reception Centre, the assessment is for, in, for secondary is English and math, just to know which courses to um, to offer a placement in. And so, and because different school systems teach mathematics in different orders, um, 
and that kind of thing. All there will there's also um, multicultural liaison officers, which we'll explain more in our presentation, uh, at the family reception center, and so they will help explain um, the process and and translate uh, as necessary. So pathways and program options. So all did I skip a slide? I did. Sorry. Wait a second. Something happened here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what's happened to my screen. Something went wrong with my screen. Apologies. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Apologies for skipping a slide. So we have ESL and ELD curriculum expectations. So ESL and ELD English courses, all of those courses build on the skills and the knowledge that students bring with them uh, from their elementary school experience and ensure success in high school and beyond. And so some of the curriculum expectations will be developing reading. So academic reading, um, nonfiction reading, fiction reading. So reading of all types, um, writing, oral communication, listening and speaking skills with a focus on specifically strengthening academic English to successfully complete university and college level high school credits. And uh, if, if students are taking the ELD program, then there is also um, a curriculum expectation of orientation to school life and, and adapting to um, school in Canada. So the pathways and program options. So all ESL and ELD English credits are what's called open level courses, which means upon completion, uh, your student can choose English courses for either the university, college, or workplace pathway. So ESL and ELD is preparing them for all options uh, and making sure that they keep as many options open as possible for their future. It may take a bit longer for a student to transition from an ESL or ELD class. Uh, however, it is important to acquire the necessary language skills to be successful in any university, college, or D-Stream class. So we know that developing academic language takes a bit of time, and we want to give these students the foundations that they need in order to be successful. So uh, some of the different other workshops that are, are part of this um present uh, these series of presentations this evening are going to focus more in more detail on the Ontario secondary school diploma. But for our purposes, um, it's important to know that all ESL and ELD courses count as credits towards the 30 credits needed for graduation. So how that uh, looks on a, tr on a um, credit counseling summary is that Three uh, of the ESL or ELD courses count as compulsory courses and any additional courses, ESL or ELD courses count as elective courses. So all of those will um, accumulate to the 30 credits. So out of the 30 credits that you, a student needs to graduate, 18 courses are compulsory. So they are decided by the province and required by grade, uh, which uh, which level those are, uh, which content subject area courses and English uh, is in each grade as well as ESL uh, if that's required. And then 12 courses uh, are elective courses, which means the student may choose a number of different options that they can select. So each school will have a multicultural liaison officer attached to them and you can request their services. Um, they are offered in a variety of languages. Uh, and if the, your school does not have a multicultural liaison officer that speaks your language, they will have the ability to find and seek out another MLO for that support. Um, so their support is used for the following. They can be helping with translation for family and school meetings. So you can have them come to the school when you have a meeting with the school. 
They can also really help with settlement questions and community supports. So they're able to support your family outside of the school and they will help advocate for your, your student and your family and help you support um, navigating the school system and learning the Ontario school system. So we have time for questions. So please feel free to type any of the questions that you may have in our chat, um, the Q&A chat, and um, we're happy to elaborate on any information you would like.
So if there are any last minute questions, um, we will take those and then it will be on to the travel time for your break and the next session will begin in five minutes.
All right. So, good evening. We are going to do our final presentation of the evening. We'll wait for a minute or two um, to welcome you all here to the secondary ESL and ELD course program information. So, my name is Ruth Anderson, and I'm one of the multilingual learning coaches um, with our school board, part of the program and program learning and innovation department. And my colleague Andrew Brunet is with me as well. And so we will take you through um, information about the courses and the programs that we offer at secondary. And um, please feel free at any point to type your questions uh, in the chat in the question and answer feature. And we will happily uh, make time at the end to to uh, answer those questions. So the schools that we have in the Ottawa Carlton District School Board uh, with ESL and ELD programs. So ESL is English as a second language program and that is for students who um, are coming from a different um, school system in a different language and learning English. And ELD programs are for students who may have need some additional support or had a few gaps in learning um, along the way. Andrew will fill you, fill you in on, on those specifics. But the programs um, that we offer are at Gloucester High School, Ridgemont High School, and Woodruff High School have both ESL and ELD programs. And Bell High School, Brookfield High School, and Glebe Collegiate Institute offer the ESL program. And each of these schools also, in addition to language uh, English language courses offer uh, in grade nine and grade 10 sheltered courses. And these courses are in the subject, all the subject areas um, across the curriculum. And they have the content as well as support for uh, English language acquisition. So those courses uh, include math, science, geography, integrated arts, technology, designing your future, co-op, history, civics, careers. So each school has a different number of courses they offer. So check um, at the school that you're interested in attending. And if you're looking at a course option sheet, it will be designated with an S uh, if that course um, is sheltered. So um, if you are new to Ottawa area and you're student is looking to join the Ottawa Carleton District School Board, uh, you may need to stop by the Family Reception Centre for an assessment. So if your child speaks a primary language that is not English, or their previous schooling was uh, not in English, then they might need to get um, an English language assessment. And they might also be assessed in their first language as well, just to see their, their level um, that they've been learning. Um, if they did not attend school regularly before coming to Canada, they might be placed in the English literacy development. And that's to help them um, accelerate their English learning at the same time as accelerating their math and their science learning. So when they're being assessed, they'll be assessed in English. They'll also be assessed in their mathematics uh, because um, different schooling systems are gonna be teaching math at different levels in different ways. And so we wanna make sure that they've got the basis for the way that, or for the order that Ontario is teaching the, the math subjects. Um, so if you feel that your child needs um, an assessment, you can contact the Family Reception Centre and that can be done through email at familyreceptioncentre at ocdsb.ca or at the phone number that's on your screen. So the ESL and ELD curriculum expectations. So each um, ESL and ELD course is um, guided by the ministry expectations. And so they are credited courses, which we'll go into. So um, these courses build on skills and knowledge that the students bring with them from elementary school for success into high school and beyond. And so the specific course expectations, there will be a lot of focus on reading reading different texts, so reading fiction, nonfiction, uh, different types of literature, and as well as um, newspaper articles, a, a variety of reading that will make a student successful through their high, entire high school career. Writing, different types of writing, um, paragraphs, essays, 
sentence structure, um, argument, all of those elements, writing process as well. Oral communication, so listening and speaking skills with a specific focus on strengthening the academic English. And um, these courses are designed to, to support successfully um, students, the ability for students to complete a university, college, uh, or college uh, level high school credits. So those are the building blocks for the transition to um, English courses. So different pathways and program options. So all ESL and ELD English credits are open level courses. So that means um, upon completion, as soon as they're done, a student can choose English courses for either the university, college, or workplace pathway. So ESL and ELD leave all options open for students. It may take them a bit longer to transition from ESL or ELD classes. It may take them a bit longer to earn their Ontario diploma. However, it is important to acquire the necessary language skills in order to be successful in any university, college, or DSTREAM class, and then beyond in whatever schooling they continue, uh, choose to continue with. So you may have gone to another workshop this evening that, that looks at the secondary school uh, diploma requirements in more detail. But to for our purposes here, we'll, we'll go into the ESL and ELD credits. So all ESL and ELD credits count towards the 30 credits needed to graduation for graduation. So um, any three of the ESL or ELD courses count as compulsory courses and any additional ESL or ELD courses count as elective courses. So every course is considered um, that each course is going towards the final diploma. And so of the uh, how the 30 courses breaks down is there are 18 courses that are compulsory. So you take four in semester one, four in semester two, so eight in a year. And that of that 18, each grade requires different specific courses. And of the 12 remaining courses in that 30, uh, they're elective course credits. So a student may choose from a number of options in each grade which courses they would like to take. So at your child's school, there will be a Multicultural Liaison Officer, or MLO, that can support uh, your family. So they, uh, their support is available in a variety of different languages. So if your school does not have an MLO attached to it with the language that your family speaks, they will be able to access another MLO to help and support your family. Uh, all students and families can get support with translation for family or school meetings to make sure that um, if your teacher has any concerns or if you have any concerns and want to contact teachers or principals, that there's somebody there to facilitate and make sure that you are understood. Um, that there are, if you have any settlement questions or community supports, the MLO can help you outside of the school community as well. Uh, and they can advocate for your child and support you with navigating the Ontario school system. So we have um, some time for questions. And so we are happy to take any questions that you might have in the chat. And so you can put them in the uh, question and answer section and we will... Um, we will answer them for you. Thank you for coming to our workshop.
So thanks for coming to our presentation. I believe there's five minutes until the closing session.